Our theme for today's episode is ask for everything. Okay, so I want you to think about something you really want. Maybe you want a bigger salary at work, or maybe you want the option to work from home permanently. No more driving into the office ever. Or you want your spouse to stop leaving wet towels on the basement floor. Or like me, I want Scott Hyatt to stop hogging my Peloton. Or maybe you've got a crush on someone. You're interested in being more than just friends and you're curious to find out if they feel the same way about you. Whatever you want, one thing's for sure. It's probably not gonna just miraculously fall into your lap. You need to ask for it. You need to be assertive and be brave and ask for exactly what you want. Easier said than done, right? Many people, especially women, feel terrified to ask for what they want. And for many women, the very thought of asking makes you feel anxious, awkward, itchy, panicky. You just feel like, ugh, it's too uncomfortable and I just can't do this. On today's episode, my goal is to permanently change your attitude about asking and transform you into a woman who's ready to ask for everything. Here we go. Oh, hey, I'm Susan Hyatt, and this is Go Time TV. This is the show about creating what you crave right now. I'm a master certified life coach, author, entrepreneur, motivational speaker. I'm also a mom of two college age kids, and I'm married, and I've learned a lot in these 47 years. And one thing I've learned is that we're done with certain things, we're done with apologizing. We're done with hiding. We're done with pretending that we're not good enough to go after our goals and our dreams. So join me for these short episodes where I bring you on a journey and teach you how to get more of what you want. More time, more energy, more money, more intimacy, whatever it is that you crave, we're gonna create it right here on GoTime TV. Once a year, I run a free challenge called Ask For Everything. And this is a challenge where you ask for whatever you want five days in a row. Women love this challenge because it's really simple, but totally transformational. It's amazing how many things change and improve really quickly once you just start asking. So here's some victories from the last round. Megan asked a client to hire her as a consultant, and they said yes. Dora asked her teenage son to start cooking dinner for the family once a week, and he's doing it. Claire asked a magazine if they published an article she wrote, and they said, yeah. Okay, there you go. Proof that if you just ask for what you want, you just might get it, and you won't know until you try. The worst thing that happens is they say no, and you can survive hearing the word no. Ask and see what happens for you. It's time for the question of the day. This is the part of the show where I share a question for you. Yes, you, the beautiful person who's watching my cat jump across the screen right now. Here's our question for today. What's something you're gonna ask for this week? Post your answer down below in the comments. What are you gonna ask for, Boo Berry? Are you gonna ask your spouse to handle making dinner tonight? Are you gonna ask your teenager to contribute more to household chores? Are you gonna ask a dream client to hire you? Or something else? I'm excited to see what you share. Head down below and post your ask. Who's ready for a two minute upgrade? Yes! All right, I'm gonna demonstrate how to upgrade a part of your life in two minutes or less. Big results, big improvements, big upgrade in just a tiny little bit of time. So here we go. Today, let's upgrade your voice. I've been a coach and motivational speaker for going on 14 years now, and I've learned a lot about how to speak confidently and clearly. So imagine you're getting ready to have a conversation and you're just gonna ask for something. You're about to talk to your landlord or your boss or client, spouse or whoever. And maybe you're feeling a little nervous and your throat starts tightening up and it's harder to breathe and speak. 
If that's happening, here are some really quick things you can do to relax and create a calm, confident sounding voice. So the first thing you wanna do if you're feeling nervous about an ask is take some deep breaths. And usually we're nervous because we're worried about a few things. So you wanna identify what you're worried about. You're probably worried they're gonna say no. If somebody says no, it's all right, you're gonna survive. Or you're gonna be worried that they're gonna think something negatively about you because you're asking. So here's the thing. If you don't ask, you don't get. And it's the other person's responsibility to say no if they wanna say no, right? So you just need to get in the frame of mind of why the thing you're asking for, you are deserving of. So take some deep breaths, tell yourself that you deserve the thing and that it's perfectly acceptable for you to ask for it. And the other thing that I do is I visualize myself asking and feeling proud of myself for making the ask. So I detach entirely from the other person saying yes or no, because we can't control that part. We can only control that we ask and how we ask. And so just remind yourself that you're gonna feel so proud of yourself for just asking for what you deserve. So try that the next time you're gonna ask for something, and I bet you'll feel and sound so much better. Oh, hey, do you run a business or a side business or intend to launch one soon? Are you currently earning less than 100K per year? Would you like to start earning $100,000 per year and above? And are you a cool, creative, awesome human being that's willing to roll up her sleeves and get to work? Well, then you're invited to apply to join On The Six. On The Six is a program for professional coaches, consultants, and other service providers, and it's all about getting you to that six-figure mark and beyond. You'll work with me and my team. We're gonna work on your mindset, your business plan, your marketing, sales systems, and your daily routine, all of it. We have a strong track record with this program. You can check out tons of glowing reviews from On The Six clients who are earning more than ever before. Apply now, and then you'll be able to schedule a quick phone call to discuss this program in more detail and determine if it's right for you. More info is here. I'm tired of living in a world where women earn less than men. I bet you're tired of it too. So let's get you earning significantly more than ever before. It's time, let's do this, apply now. Space is limited, so be sure to apply soon. It's time for another round of lows and highs. Are you feeling low? Stuck in a crummy situation and not sure how to get out of it? Need a lift? Send your dilemma to me and I might reply to your email on this show. So today's email comes from Jess and here's her situation. Dear Susan, whenever I need to ask for something, especially something related to money, like if I'm asking someone to hire me or asking someone to pay an invoice, I feel so incredibly awkward. Sometimes I worry they'll say no, and sometimes I worry they'll be annoyed or angry that I asked. And sometimes I get this wave of anxiety and I don't even know where it's coming from. And then I get so freaked out that I usually end up not asking at all. I know I need to be more confident. Do you have any advice for someone like me who is basically allergic to asking? Jess, thanks for sharing your situation. There's so many in the same boat. And you know, we live in a society where girls and young women are taught to be humble, be modest, don't be too ambitious, don't be greedy, don't eat too much food, don't make too much money, don't be too much. Stay in your place, don't ask for too much. And you start getting these messages hammered into your head as a little girl, and then you carry these messages into adulthood. And then it's no surprise that you feel anxious when you need to ask someone for something because you've been taught asking is not okay. And so it's important to start shedding these old beliefs and building some new beliefs. So here's my advice for you. When you notice yourself feeling anxious, check in with yourself. What's happening in your mind? Eavesdrop on your own thoughts and identify a low quality thought, which might be, they're gonna be furious that I ask for this and they're gonna say no. And switch that to a high quality thought, 
they might be delighted that I asked. They might say yes. I won't know until I try. Asking gets easier the more you do it. Build confidence over time and practice with small things. So like asking for extra foam on your latte and then work up to bigger things. Language is also so important. So if you say, sorry to bother you and you're probably not going to like this, but I have something to ask. You're setting yourself up for an awkward conversation. But if you say, hey, I have an exciting proposition I'd like to share with you. I have an idea that could be a win-win for both of us. That's a totally different feeling, right? And lastly, remember the famous Nora Roberts quote. If you don't go after what you want, you'll never have it. If you don't ask, the answer is always no. If you don't step forward, you're always in the same place. So when you don't ask, your life stays exactly the same. And when you do ask, there's a possibility, sometimes a big possibility, that you'll get what you want. So just ask. Watch what happens next. This has been Go Time TV. If this show brought a little bit of positivity into your day, click the thumbs up below. Do it, boom, subscribe so you never miss an episode. No matter what is going on in the world right now, it's always the right time to go after your goals, make positive changes, and upgrade your life. I want you to start asking for what you want. Start small, work up to bigger asks as your confidence grows. The more you ask, the faster your life will transform. I'm Susan Hyatt saying bye until next time. You only get one life, make it count. It's go time. Oh my God, there's a leaf in my pocket. <laughs> it's from the patio possibility.